Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I am very excited because in the video today, I'm gonna to be talking about my new Grantstone boots here. So let's open them up and I will share my thoughts. These are the new Grantstone brass boot in Natural Essex. I'm a big fan of the brass boot. I really like the look of it. I think, uh, I think Grantstone did a really good job designing these. It's like halfway between a Red Wing Mock Toe and halfway between an Alden Indy. I think it's super duper sharp. And so this pair in particular haunted my dreams ever since I saw Grant Stone release it. In fact, all their new br brass boot iterations are phenomenal. But yeah, so this is, this is the new brass boot in Tan Essex. Now, I believe this is gonna be more of a natural Essex I'm not exactly sure. All of Grant Stone's brass boots, new brass boots are phenomenal. They've got Earth, they've got the Tan Essex here, they've got Dune Chrome Excel, which is natural Chrome Excel. They've got Black Chrome Excel, they have Crimson Chrome Excel, they have Saddle Tan, they have Color 8 Chrome Excel, they have Black Chrome Excel on a wedge sole. And so, simply phenomenal, simply phenomenal brass boots. Again, this is the brass boot in Tan Essex. Tan Essex is a vegetable tan from Horween. So similar to Dublin, in fact, I'll grab my natural Dublins to compare here. So these are my Parkhurst boots in natural Dublin, also a vegetable tan. Essex and Dublin are pretty much the same thing. I think Dublin goes undergoes one additional phase or maybe it's Essex, I can't remember. So these are my Parkhurst in eight and a half D and I actually tried a new sizing strategy with Grant Stone this time around because a lot of guys talk about, and Randy talked about this as well, Wyatt's father, that you can actually play around and strategize with sizing. You can, So I typically buy an 8.5D eight, eight in my Grant Stone boots. This is my brass boot and saddle tan veg 8.5D. And these tan Essex are 8E, so you go down a half and up a width. And you could also get super creative and go down a full size, so you could go seven and a half. I could go seven and a half down from eight and a half. Seven and a half and triple E. And Randy actually had me try on a boot like that, and it felt pretty good. I didn't walk around in it, but I put it on, and I'm like, my foot fits into it, and it I can't tell the difference. Like visually, it kind of looks the same. It's weird. And so so this is the Tan Essex and 8E next to the 8D. And visually, I want to say they, they look pretty much the same because what Randy was saying is when you go down a half size it reduces the length a little bit but when you go up in width it actually increases the length just a little bit and so you don't really lose much length when you do this and I think that's interesting now I will say that just on appearance sake like to the layman yeah these these look to be the same length but I will say like I looked at it really close and compared really closely I can tell that the Tan Essex are just a hair shorter. That might be a good comparison there. The Tan Essex are just a hair shorter, but the width is the same. I just wanted to try that, and I haven't worn these yet, but I could already tell like this is gonna work. Like I could tell like by holding a boot if it's gonna work for my foot. And uh, yeah, this is totally gonna work. I put in for the Earth Waxy Commander brass boot in 8E as well, cause, just cause I wanna try it. And uh, yeah, visually, so this is, these are my Grant Stones in Maduro shell. Like visually, like it doesn't, it looks like volume wise, there's the same amount of volume there. They, they to me look like the same, almost the same size. The reason why guys do this is for a couple reasons. A, if they're trying to create more of a bespoke fit, Randy talked about this. You could do this if you wanna get closer to more of like a bespoke feel. Yeah, I'm excited to try that out. And also another reason that you might do this maneuver going down a length up a width or down two lengths and up two widths the reason you would do that is if say there was a boot you really wanted and the size was sold out you could do that let's say like I wanted these it's like oh dang they don't have my typical eight and a half well guess what I'm not out of luck I could order the 8e and it's gonna basically be the same thing that's another reason why I know you know part of the reason why I've been hesitant to like try different sizes is because I feel like 
is part of my OCD. I just like knowing that all my boots are eight and a half. I've recently accepted that you know, a lot of guys, especially guys that have been collecting boots and shoes for a long time, they'll maneuver around like this. In fact, I just sold my uh, Navy Shrunken Bison Chelsea's to my friend Mario, and he typically, I think he's a half size up for me, so he typically wears a 9D in like the Alden True Balance. So anyways, I sold him my, those benzines in, they were basically the equivalent of eight and a half double E, I think. There was just a lot of volume on the instep. And even though it was like a half size smaller for him, he knew that the width was gonna work in eight and a half. And so by going up in width, and he tried them on and it's a flawless fit, he said. And so if you play around with widths, you can make a different number work for you, in other words. So these are my Alden, Alden Indies in eight and a half D. It's next to the Grant Stones in 8E. So yeah, I mean, looking at the stitching and everything, it looks, it looks like the same size to me. I'm not a boot anatomy expert, but I do look at them a lot. And uh, yeah, I could, I could tell, it looks like, I mean, depending on the angle, it looks like the Aldens are longer, and depending on the angle, one, one weird thing I noticed, maybe it's an optical illusion, but maybe you guys could provide me some input. Sometimes when I, position the boots next to each other when I look at the brass boot when it's on this side when it's to the when it's to the left of the indie looks like the brass boot is shorter but then when I move it over it looks looks more like the same length I don't know if the camera's going to capture that but visually when I'm comparing different boots sizes to one another sometimes I'll do that like I'll move it from one side and then I'll move it to the I'll switch sides and it looks like depending on the side it'll look like one is longer than the other and then and then you move them and then they look like they're the same the same length it's an optical illusion probably has something to do with the curvature of the boot as well i'm not exactly sure but yeah so i'm really happy with trying out this 8e i might try some diesels in that as well i'm eyeing the color 8 chrome excel diesels well again i'm very happy with my eight and a half d's i just want to i just kind of want to like kind of experiment around. I know that all these sizes are gonna work. It's not gonna be a big deal, but. Okay, so this Essex, this is according to Horween. After three years of trials and production runs, we've nailed it. The leather has a handful of iterations, but the base tannage is called Essex. It's a rich full grain leather that utilizes the same blends of extracts that we use in our shell cordovan. Dublin is just a waxed version of Essex. So they're both the same base tannage. This Dublin, is just going to be a waxed version of the of the Essex. Now I, I'm looking at these. This tan Essex does appear to be yellow, more yellow in appearance. So I do suspect that there were pigments added to this. I don't think this is a natural leather. Depending on the pictures, sometimes it looks natural. Like on the Grant Stone website, it looks like a natural color, but in person it has more of a yellow appearance to it. Similar to Grant Stone just got released a new Ottawa boot in Natural Minerva. And I saw pictures of that online. And the na the Natural Minerva does look natural, but then in certain lights, it looks more yellow. Just kind of interesting there. But I really like the tan laces that they included with these. Absolutely gorgeous. And as always, so we've got a full Grant Stone proprietary Commando Soul really adds to the badass aesthetic. And then we've got 360 degree Goodyear Storm Welt. Amazing. Can't wait to start wearing this. It's a real smooth leather, but it's got a lot of character, you could tell. Beautiful. I love that brass boot. Really different from the saddle tan. Years ago, I would have thought these were the same boot. But yeah, so this is the saddle tan veg, Battle Carlo vegetable tan leather in 8.5D. And there's the Grant Stone 8Es. So there you go. Wedge sole, commando sole, brass boot, 8.5D, 8E on the tan Essex. I really like the back stay on the brass boot as well. This back heel strip and then the cosmetic stitching here across the heel counter there. Very sharp. We've got really thick eyelets, two speed hooks hand stitched mock toe just just amazing i love everything about it can't wait to start wearing these so anyways all right so just in closing i wanted to do a quick fit update on the, how the 8e is working out for me i've worn both boots 
uh, twice so far, and I love the fit. I honestly, when they're on foot, I can't really tell the difference between those and an and an eight and a half D. If you blindfolded me, I wouldn't be able to tell a difference at all. Like they feel the same on foot. Visually, the eight E's might be literally a hair shorter or like one millimeter shorter, but the width is the same, and like the feel on my foot feels pretty good. I feel. You know, I feel just a little bit more locked in in the 8E, just because it is probably more of a bespoke shape for my foot type. So I just wanted to provide that bit of information before closing up the video, because I know people are going to be asking about it. <laughs> and so yes, going down a half and up a width definitely works. If that's something you wanted to consider, I would definitely recommend it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. If you're interested in buying these, I will include a link to these as well. So anyways, that's all I had to say for now guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV. And anyways, stay tuned because I got a lot more content coming up. Thanks a lot for watching.